Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Just In Case. So today we're gonna continue on our water cooling system build. And what we're gonna talk about today is our motherboard of choice. And we're gonna be going through all of the specs of that and why we chose that. We also got some other fun things like we're gonna be mounting our radiators, our fans, some of the lighting, and even some storage in this episode. So let's talk about the motherboard first. Um, so the reason that we chose this motherboard is because for water cooling, it's probably the best motherboard out there. Um, it's got some really cool features. This motherboard can only be used with water cooling. So if you don't have a water cooled system, uh, you know, stay away from this motherboard. Uh, but the reason that we really like it, I'll show you in here, is it comes with its own uh, monoblock for the CPU. It also covers all of the other components right around there that need to be cooled on the motherboard. So this is what it looks like. It looks almost like an old cassette tape, right? But uh, it's really cool. It's got a flow meter in here. These metal rings uh, around the inlet and outlet are actually, uh, they sense the liquid. So if you have any leaks or anything, it's gonna shut down your system so that if there is a leak in your computer, you know, it doesn't leak and, and ruin everything. Uh, the other thing that it has, it has another piece that mounts to the bottom here. We'll show you that in a minute. That goes over your uh, M.2 SSD to water cool that as well. And so uh, you'll see when we're installing this, there's another piece that sets on right here and uh, cools that. So this comes with all the thermal pads and everything you're gonna need uh, to get it attached to the, the motherboard. And so, yeah. And for any of you guys wondering what this motherboard is, it is the ASUS Maximus 9 Extreme motherboard. I won't let go again. So there you have it. We're done with the first part, uh, which was putting the uh, motherboard together. We got that mono block on as well as the block that's going to cover our M.2. Um, we got both of our radiators installed and we got all of our fans for those installed. Uh, this case is nice. It's got a little bracket right here uh, that holds SSDs. And the nice thing about the NZXT uh, Hue Plus fans, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing about those well, let's is restart it. we also got both of our radiators in and uh, all of our uh, fans installed. These fans have a controller that's nice because it mounts to an SSD or an SSD mount. And uh, so this mount right here has a spot for our SSD as well as the controller. So we went ahead and mounted both of those in there and uh, yeah pretty good for our first for our first day right the only thing that I'm not looking forward to moving forward is cable management it is gonna be a headache and a half but I think we can do it yeah we'll see 
you so, know, there are a thing. lot of cables in there. So uh, some things to look forward to in our upcoming videos in this series. We're going to be water cooling the RAM. Uh, we'll show you guys how to put a water block on to your GPU. Uh, we have a 1080 Founders Edition that we're going to water cool and then how to get it all put together. And then we'll show you guys how to bend hard tubing and attach all that kind of stuff, what kind of fittings you need and everything like that. So look forward to that. Uh, those will be coming up in our next videos. Anyways guys, as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll bring you more awesome videos. Woo!